absolutely a number that. So, no tiling, nothing, nothing can be done. But we come up with a problem last night. We went to a restaurant. This is the second time now. My 14 year old likes a hamburger. So, when you order a hamburger, guess what you get? Just the patty and some chips. So he was very upset last night. So, we've decided today we're going to make hamburgers to make him happy. And let's see his reaction because to be honest, there's no work going to be done until this rain nicks off because it's really it's driving me absolutely crazy because we can't tile, we can't do anything. Uh, good thing about it is the veggies are growing and they're getting higher and higher, which I will definitely um, film today when I go check it out because I've got to get some basil for dinner tonight. Um, apart from that, we've just yesterday was a washout day. I went to church as you saw in the um, in the vlog from yesterday. Uh, the procession was last night, but it was just absolutely pouring down. You, it was, doesn't matter whether you had an umbrella, it was just terrible. So I yeah, didn't get any footage or didn't, of nothing of that because it was just too wet. So hopefully this week and the next couple of days, the weather clears up. We went down to have a look at getting some wood for uh, planting a pergola. So that's something we're going to do. This afternoon, we're going to go out, we're going to draw some plans up. I'll show you the plans. And then we're going to go and price up the, the wood in Campello. And that's going to be one of our summer jobs to do because it's going to be nice weather, hopefully, if this rain does bugger off. Um, as you can see up north of Italy, there's been lots of floods. So our thoughts are with those people up there. And I hope that their families are safe and well. And tonight, we're definitely going to film what Donna's making tonight. So I might put the video out a bit late tonight because tonight's dinner sounds like a real surprise. So... We're going to do a little bit of footage of that and uh, hopefully today the weather picks up and it gets a bit uh, not as wet. We'll go down the Capello, we'll see if we can film a little bit of the, um, the wood shops but you've got to be careful because they don't like to be filmed and you need permission before you can do it. A lot of them say no. So have a good day and uh, we'll see what we can get done today. So I just measured out the actual um, terrazzo. So it's like we've got three and a half metres wide by um, nearly 4.5 metres long. Nearly five, actually it's five and a half metres long. So she's going to be a pretty big bergola. So not three by four like we thought. So when I go down to Capella this afternoon, we'll have to do the measurements because we've actually got five metres long, which is a pretty decent size terrazzo. So in the planning, we'll have to change the planning because I just drew up at four metres. So I think four metres is not going to be long enough. So let's go back to the drawing board. Okay, so I've been promising for the last couple of days a little bit of an update on the veggies. There's your mint and the parsley. Sage is loving it. Basil's loving it. Getting lots and lots of water. Now you remember the tomatoes when we planted them? Have a look at that, guys. They are growing beautifully. There's a few little ones we're going to take off the bottom there so they can grow up nice and straight and keep the stems of leaning over so we'll take them off before we leave but wow look at that look at the growth on them from the rain beautiful lettuces are coming up beautiful cucumbers look good capsicums are looking good everything's looking really really good so I hate to say but I'm very very excited We've got a little bit of a leak in there. We're going to do a little bit of strimming over there in the next couple of days just to tidy all that up. But things will get better. Everything's probably most likely grown back down there, but our fig tree is going nicely. So, fingers crossed, everything's starting to look good. Got to get some wood, start a fire, and get these hamburgers going for the young fella. But apart from that, really, really super excited. How, how, how good's your hamburger, mate? Great. Uh, compared to last night? Oh, last night was absolutely horrible. It was just a patty, and it's disgraceful. For a right. So, out of 10, how's this rate? I would say it's a 10. Wow. Awesome. Okay. 
Okay, we went down to San Salvo to price up the timber for the pergola. Thought it was going to be an easy task. I thought it would actually be cheaper to purchase the, the wood to build the pergola, but it's actually 990 euro just for the timber alone. So we're looking on eBay, we found one which is three meters wide by five meters, which would just make it perfectly in the area, just a little bit to the side. So that's, we're gonna order that, get that sent in, and then hopefully that'll be the next project after the tiling's finished to put up the pergola ready for summer because in Italy the, the summers are really intense and really hot. So it'd be nice to get some coverage and then we'll just put some laser light over the top of it. So that's been this afternoon's adventure. The rain's starting to clear up, looking like tomorrow morning, fingers crossed, that we'll be able to finish off the tiling and then hopefully get some of that other area grab. We may need to set an umbrella up just as a precaution for tomorrow so we can dry out quickly the uh, grout. And once that's done, we can start moving stuff out of there, start cleaning up the um, little house, get that ready, because Tuesday actually arrives, my daughter, so that's gonna be full on traveling around. She's gonna meet the family, she's gonna meet all her cousins, um, take her places. So it's gonna be basically just adventures with a little bit of renovations. Um, so stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Um, I hope you liked the little snippet about Zave and his hamburgers. He's very passionate about his food. He can taste every flavor. I think there is a job in there for him for later on in life to become either a chef or a food critic. So um, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching everybody.